In the previous episode, we learned about a mysterious protector dragon. I think it was a bronze dragon beneath the prison, which we're absolutely going to go try to recruit to be on our side. But in today's episode, uh, we're going to go shopping. <laughs> we're going to go to the Emper Emporium? Emporium? Empor Emporium with Gale and see if he can buy anything um, and have him talk to people. So I also need to level him up real quick. So we're actually going to start with the level up. It's been a bit since we've um, used him, though I believe we're all level 10. So this should be a fairly reasonable level up here. So he gets um, empowered evocation, grasp of evocation, mass magic has tightened, and you can add your intelligence modifier to damage rolls with any evocation spell. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He gets a free cantrip. I don't know. Blade words probably going to be what I do. Yeah, let's just do Blade Ward. Um, spells. Well, he's got level five spells still. He can get two of them. So I think what I'm going to do is... I mean, Hold Monster is freaking great. <laughs> Paralyzes a creature. Let's get Hold Monster. Dominate Person, Conjure Elemental, and we're going to do Kona Cold as well. Maybe Wall of Stone? Maybe? Telekinesis? No. Boom. Okay. Except... Should be it. He should be done. Yeah, cool. Let's All right. Let's go ahead and leave camp. And head into this uh, emporium. We're going to try to avoid a lot here. Oh, should I talk to Clank? Let's talk to Clank. Hey, I recognize him. He was from Act 1. Oh, it's enchanted you tell armor. The Roachin, I went for his goddamn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Shit, it's you. Yeah. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Uh, sorry, I didn't find anything. Or who are you trying to get at inside? I found the night nice song. Turns out it wasn't a relic, but an Asimar. Uh, and that's none of your business. I don't really like this guy. But I have no reason to lie to him. An Asima. Else, if I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. Nah, dog. Uh, she's in my camp. If you want to turn her in, you're going to have to take her down yourself. He would get his butt whooped. Uh, haven't been paid yet. She's immortal and tough. You can forget about turning her in for a reward. Uh, or just intimidate him. Piss off. Get out of here. Get out of here. I need a 15. How did I not get a 15? I'm getting like a, like a plus 8 or something insane. Hold on. Like a plus 7 to 10. Yeah, I should be able to get this. Come on. There we go. There's my 22. <laughs> I ought to knock some sense into you. But you know what? I'm too goddamn tired. Dude, I would kill you in She's like one attack. I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. He is gonna get his butt whooped by her, and I'm looking forward to that day. <laughs> like that, that it's gonna be very funny. Oh, there's like a bunch of elementals. Oh, are we in like Hogwarts? <laughs> this is where we're at now. Speak to Loricon. Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Loricon, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the night song, say, night song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. <laughs> it's basically just a answering machine. Hold on. You're an unperson. It's an answering machine, that's what it is. Night song. The provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the night song is worth a great deal to Master Laroican. Do you have information regarding the night song? Oh, do I? I'm curious what Please I can do here. Upstairs for further instructions. Thank you. Please come again soon and have a magical day. I I mean I kind of feel like I just want to be honest with him and be like, "Yo, 
Um, is there two quest things here? Meet Lorikon. Speak to the bookseller. Um, is the bookseller down over here? Can we can we head this way? Is this the bookseller? Oh yeah, Tome Monger. I'm gonna say that that's a bookseller, all right. Literature department. Can I help you? I'm trying to find out about a particular Netherese crown. Have you anything on this subject? an environment of quiet reverence. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to find out about a particular Netherese crown. Have you anything on the subject? <laughs> Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? I mean... Uh, a Netherese folly? Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself, the Netherese arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed, and was banished for the attempt. Interesting. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. I figured, yeah. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. Sounds perfect. How much to buy it from you? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. All right, I'm going to need a stary. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Okay. Um. Uh, sure. Surely, there's some amount of gold that could convince you to part with, with the book. Actually, there may be. Everybody has a price. Um, persuasion. Isn't it your job to share knowledge, not keep it locked away? Ooh, I like that one, huh? I like that one. Let's let's see. I need 18. I don't think I'm gonna get this. Oh, natural 20, baby. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Or so you think. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you certainly have. Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Cool. Can I can I trade with her? How can I help you? Uh, do, 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 do. how are you feeling? Books still sensitive. <laughs> I am absolutely gonna do that after I trade with her. <laughs> I am the worst. Let's get rid of some of this crap. She's got money. I got crap. Right. Like this is this is a normal transaction here. Me send crap to your inventory. You send me money, right? Um, I think that's about it that I'm going to do. None of these spells are jumping out to me. Blink. What's that one? Freezing sphere, wall of ice. Yeah, I mean, like, some of these aren't bad, right? Like, we got fireball here. But are they necessary? No, no, I don't think so. All right, let's quickly jump to Shadowheart. She have anything? No, we'll hold on to those. Carlac can uh get rid of that, right? Because I didn't want to use that. Because I like her bane effect on her crossbow. He just doesn't really have a whole lot, but I will get rid of those. What was the second one? That snowburst. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that one. And yeah. 
I think we'll we'll call it good from there. All right, how are you feeling? Books still sensitive? Uh, whoops. <laughs> I was expecting them to blow up. <laughs> Go at the clown on your own time. Come back when you've cobbled together some manners and are prepared to pay for the damages. I'll pay for them. So about that, I now understood books need to be well treated. Lesson learned. Here's 400 gold. That's better. How can I help you? Uh, there's nothing. Yeah. Um, leave. That... That was very funny. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that was very funny. Why is there a corpse over here? What is going on? Hey. Oh, they just rose a zombie. Right, do I really want... Do I really want to know? Okay, there's people above us we need to talk to. This is a cool tower. I like this. So far, I'm, I'm digging this little area. Um, something is in this room. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Thanks. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. I might be here to waste his time. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Lights. Lights. Plaque. Okay, what are these plaques? Um, I'm going to quick save. I'm gonna take a look at our journal, see what it's what guidance it's giving me, right? Um, journal. There we go. Okay, find the nice one. <sighs> a protection of the wizard, uh, Lorican has set us a puzzle to solve before getting an audience with him. We need to select the right portal to step through. I just want to tell him, like, yo, it's actually a person. Stop trying to find them. Um, found his arm, his head, or hand, his torso. Found another hand. And I need to find more of his uh, body parts. Found a poster that mentions a meeting for people who have survived hags, right? We gotta go do that. Play the frontiers, yep. Um, Wizard of Waterdeep. Persuaded to tell us about the sundry speed access. The entrance is in her office, yeah, okay. Cool, I'm, I'm happy with our current thing. Let's do this, this riddle. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. Can I not read that one? The night song is an immortal being, a child of a deity. Yeah, this portal. Oh, if you waste his time, obviously the other one is the wrong one. If you know, you, you would go through the right portal. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. That is, McClaw, you may go. That could have been bad. I love animated armor. It's, it's so cool. It's a cool concept for me. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I see no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. Uh, not, uh, not quite the enthusiastic welcome I was hoping for. Um, yeah. You'll have more gratitude than you know how to count once the night song is in my hands. Do you have it or not? Uh, she isn't an it. She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell, you've looked upon the Night Song's face. I think I've seen some crap, man. You look Tell at my me. face, you know. And choose your next words carefully. 
Where is she now? Hmm. Be careful what you wish for. She'll eat you alive. Uh, why do you want her so badly? I know where she is. I might even be willing to tell you. Hmm. Or deception. I regret to inform you the night song is no more. Killed by the Sharan Temple. Or killed in the Sharan Temple where she was held. No, that's the thing is she keeps coming back when she's killed. So that, I don't think that would work. Uh, deception. I've seen her. She was trapped by Kesrik Sorm. I left her there. Nah. Intimidation. Get out of my face now. Or deception. I know nothing. I swear. I could just attack him. What does he have for sale? Apparently nothing. Good to know. Um, yeah, I know where she is. I might even be willing to tell you. You'd give up her location just like that? No. You're not actually considering betraying her. Shut up, Gail. Get out of here. I'm she not. deserves better than to fall into his clutches. I owe her. In a sense. No, I'm not going to tell him. Good. Then you'll have no trouble fulfilling the contract to bring the night song here. I just want him to know that I know. Um, uh, I'll tell her to come here just to give her the sat- or, yeah, just to give her the satisfaction of ripping you to shreds. Um... Why do you want her so badly? I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Let us. Beautiful. Isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warrior. Very little of his soul left to him. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. Interesting. And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. Um, Clever contraption, let me guess. Like Tesseric Storm before you, you wish to become immortal. Damn. It didn't work out for poor Kethrick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hauled out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. Hmm. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Hmm, there's more to divinity than lifespan. Ensnaring an immortal won't make you a god. Equalizing man and god? Quite the lofty ambition. I've always dreamt of immortality. Your plan is quite clever. Or I'll go fetch her. Look forward to my reward. Hmm. Um, I think there's more to divinity than, than lifespan. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. He would seek the power of gods for the pettiest of reasons. His own gratification. At least I seek them for the better of all. Uh, what's that? I didn't quite catch the words, but the insolent tone was clear enough. Uh, pitying, not insolent. You chase one power without knowing an even greater one lies within my reach. The crown of Carsus. Once we acquire it, your ambitions will be dwarfed. I'll be able to stand against Mistra and wrest her powers from her for the betterment of all. The crown of Carsus. Nonsense. Even if it still existed, you couldn't possibly handle its power. <laughs> Perhaps you could not. But Netheril's power is in my blood. And Mistra? I know her in ways that most mortals can only dream of. Yeah. Ah, so it is you. I like bringing him along for this. Mistra's discarded lapdog. And now you think your bark is cause to make me tremble? God, I want to kill him. There is no need for me to bark. My actions will speak for themselves. In time. Then go. Back. I'll open a fine vintage in your name. Once word of your failure reaches me. Hmm. Um. I kind of want to attack him. <laughs> I'm really curious, though. I'm, I'm quick saving in case I do want to attack. 
I'm curious to see what this response will be, and I may reload it uh, based on it. So I'll tell her to come here just to give you the satisfaction, or give her the satisfaction of ripping you to shreds. Hmm. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours, but make no mistake, I always get what oh, I Man, this want. guy's gonna die. I think what I do is I go tell her and be like, look, I'm I'm here to help you. I'm here to, to help you kill him. He only has 98 health. Uh, therefore, it should be pretty easy to take him down. However, he has Scorching Siphon. Nearby, Myrmidon grants the affected entity immunity to fire damage. This one, immunity to lightning damage, immunity to cold damage, and immunity to poison damage. However, I don't believe he has immunity to, I'm going to beat you in the head with a hammer damage. <laughs> So that's a thing. Also, we've got a bunch of other stuff in here too. Oh, can I talk to this guy? Be like, yo, when the time comes. You'll bring him the night song, won't you? He'll be so very pleased, so very happy if his plans materialize. Hmm. I don't know if he'll help me, but it's good to know. It's also good to kind of scout this out. He's got a bunch of uh, elementals and whatnot. So... Gale is kind of useless in that fight, for sure, right? Um, I think we swap out to Asterion, because Gale is a lot of elemental damage, which is fine in normal situations, but in a situation where we're fighting a, a, a wizard that essentially um, is immune to all that, then I'd rather have the physical damage from Asterion. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? I love her so much. She's awesome. Uh, a lizard, oh, a lizard, yeah. A wizard called Loricon is looking for you. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Uh, he seemed a braggart and a fool. I wouldn't worry about him. He seemed dangerous. I think we ought to put an end to him. And he put a bounty out for your capture, and now there's a violent mercenary looking for you. Kind of want number three here. Seems dangerous. I think we ought to put an end to him. Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck until he's dead. You want to come with me? Let's take him down together. His end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Oh, yeah. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. I beg your pardon? My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts. All the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me. Won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. I mean, I would hope so. we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. <laughs> cool. Let's do it. So if I if I leave the camp, oh first I gotta I gotta swap out Gale. If I leave the camp, um, is she gonna be with me? That'd be great. Let's uh let's get rid of Gale. If that charlatan Laroican thinks he can best day Malin. He's even more clueless than I believed. Yeah, she's about to wreck him. inform her of his delusions. No doubt she'll have great fun in dispelling them. I mean, that's exactly what we plan to do. Um, Man, I got so much I could still talk to him for, but I'm going to go ahead and leave him here. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. No, I'll actually, be I think it's probably one of the best decisions I've made in the game so we far. We should tell Aelin that Lerurican is hunting her. She has a right to know. Agreed. Also, she'll want to cave his skull in. And honestly, I would not mind seeing that. I got news for you, buddy. <laughs> you gotta come with us. Darling, lead on. You are gonna love it. 
Um, let's go out of camp. I think it's possible if I just walk through the portal, she'll be there. Right. That's something to consider. What have we yeah. A oh, she's so cool. In a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the night song, surely. Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. At last. There you are. I mean, he's going to use this stupid wand, and you I'm going to have to free her. me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. First chance I get, I'm attacking. For that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? I came to stop you. Uh, yeah, I came to stop you. My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts honor her by sharing yours you dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years you do not seek to share my gifts you seek to poach them <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. Um. Do do do. Do do. do. Yeah, it'll be. It, it's over for you, bud. Can't overpower both of us, especially me. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. I just hate his attitude. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. Or I can reap them from your body. <laughs> I'd hoped you'd keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. I have great plans for you, Dame Aelin. And if you will not go quietly... Then you'll go kicking and screaming. This will be interesting to see how this plays out. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. <laughs> Mamadons! Imperatum! Wow, you are really full of yourself. All right, we got some good initiative here right off the bat. So. Uh, where is this nerd? He is right here. Um, so first thing we're gonna do, do I, well, I mean, I don't have advantage. I actually think the first thing that we do is just go ahead and dash. We run over here. We melee attack. No, 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 no. Melee attack. Thank you. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> He's down. He, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, that was his one reaction that he gets to do, so I think we'll be fine. Um, this will provoke an attack of opportunity. If I use this, it'll still provoke an act, attack of opportunity, but it'll get us over to him. Yeah, whatever. Get off my booty. Wham! Uh, make it reckless. Boom. Critical hit. Jeez. Okay, so anytime we attack him, he is whooping our booty. Good to know. Does he get a uh, attack of opportunity every single time? And a, re a reaction every single time? I guess we get to find out. Okay, so 
I need to reload from the beginning of this. Um, so I need to rage her first. If it's, we got to test to see if it's only melee attacks. So we're going to use, uh, we're going to use Asterian to blast him and see if that, it does the same thing. Because Asterian's got quite the range on him. If it still does the same thing, then we just go all in and try to kill him. Um, he's doing Shocking Grasp. So anything with lightning resistance or any kind of resistance would probably do. Although he's he's likely dealing that extra damage based on each Myrmidon that's still alive. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next. Okay, we got to we got to go swap out and then I got to reload obviously. So Oh, I got to leave here. Oh, yuck. Interesting um encounter. All right. So it looks like the more I think about it, he's probably just gaining power. Good camp. He's probably just gaining power by having each mermaid on there. Um, I wonder if the gods are watching me. Yeah. So that that's very interesting. Do I do I just? That, we should inform her of his delusion. Uh, no doubt she'll have to. You stay I here. The wisdom of that decision. I'll be. Maybe. Hmm. I gotta think we about this. It. Also, she'll want to cave his. If I. If I take my first round and just focus down two of the Myrmidons, that significantly reduces Mother's his effectiveness. Milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Um, it's looking for you. Indeed. I'll put an end to him. Do it together. Okay, then we leave camp. And before we walk through, we're going to quick save. Boom. Just got to make sure we do it right, right? Okay, so here we go, right? Oh, she's not here. Why is she not here? I just quick saved. Oh, here she is. Oh, this is cool. We can see it happen. What have we here? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thing to stop you. It's over. All right, here we go. All right, worst initiative, but still not bad. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna move Asterion. In fact, uh, if I dash him, I might be able to get him up top. I don't know if it's worth it just to check this out. So, can I sneak attack him? No, I cannot. Can I just fire an arrow at him? Why don't? Why is it moving all the way over there? Oh, is this room like all wonky? It's possible that it is. Hmm. Let's dash real quick. Come over here. Fire the arrow. Okay, so he does do it every time. So that was poison, cold. There was purple. I don't know what the purple was. Um, I still have a bonus action, so he can go ahead and pop a healing potion. Let's get. Let's drink the big one. Right. Interesting. So then it may not be a bad idea to burn down the Myrmidons. That's, I think that's kind of what they want you to do. But given a guaranteed critical hit on Loricon, I think my paladin could just straight kill him. I need some kind of paralysis, I think. Okay, so how do we do this? Um, we frenzy. And then I charge her through. Oh, that's going to put her in a weird spot, though. If I move here, and then here, and now charge her through. Okay. Man, she takes big hits, though. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, with her second attack, I could hit him. So the oops, wrong button. The off balance. What does off balance do exactly? Disadvantage on strength dexterity checks and attack rolls have it uh, against it have an advantage. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, I could pop a heal if I had the, the bonus action. So, I mean, I guess I could attack a Myrmidon. Or I could just sacrifice her and have my pallet and finish him off. With a guaranteed level four critical hit, I think he just dies. So we get him down. Ooh, double miss, triple miss actually, nice. Oh my goodness, she just smite him down. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, get out of here. So this, this is the trick, right? You get nice and close. Get out of here, stop attacking me. Get nice and close. Um, I need to vow, which gives me the advantage. And then I smite, level three smite. This should kill him. And we do luck. Yeah. Isn't it funny how that works? It's really good. <laughs> if you ever in your in your time of watching the series questioned my paladin build, I hope now you see why it is so good. Because it is actually insane. I don't want to kill that poor little guy. Alright, let's go kill let's go hit this thing. All right, now we just got to get her back up, which is easy peasy. Everything else here is like, now that we've killed him, everything else is easy. He didn't even get to take a turn. Oh, that poor guy just got wrecked. Oh, I love it. Look at the paladins doing their jobs. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, Shadowheart, I need you to preserve life on everybody, please. And then I need you to... Uh, let's, let's make it a level four. Just heal everybody up. And we'll move her into position in case these things move. And now it's just easy peasy. Transmuted to steel. Interesting. I mean, this is like, yeah, this is like easy now. We, we killed him before he could act. That's all we needed to do. Um, we will have him go ahead and... Uh, let's get the air one down first. Because it's, it's right there anyways. Um, if I move over here... What is transmitted to steel do? Armor class increased by two, but its movement speed is reduced. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna leave him here. Oh, he stunned him. Damn, that sucks. Okay, uh, she is still raging, right? Yes, okay, cool. So I can move her here to, oh, she doesn't have an action, right? Cause she, she just got back up. That's fine, we'll just hit. We, we got to kill this air elemental ASAP. Just remove the actions, you know. My guy's stunned. Do anything. She's going to do her smitey sights. Oh, man. I love Damie. <laughs> Just having her around is so cool. All right. Then we go spirit guardians for an action. Uh, let's do radiant damage. Easy damage, baby. And I think I'm going to healing word her. At level three. Take your, your Let's get her some extra topping off. Oh, don't moonbeam me. That's not cool. What's that air um, elemental got left? Water, air. It's only got 19. Okay. Let's shoot at the air. Uh, let's reroll. Cool. All right, so that's one down. Um, at this point, I kind of like him just being over here, so I'm just gonna leave that. 
She can attack the fire to finish that one off because Dame Aelin got it pretty damn low already. And then she has advantage on this one, which she misses. That's interesting. <laughs> cool. Let's go ahead and heal. Stop her off. All right. My guy's still stunned. Oh my goodness. How do I get rid of that damn stun? Oh yeah. I don't think he's stunned anymore. See, this is what I mean. Like... It, by killing him in the first round of combat, it means that we don't have to worry about getting stunned and then my guy not being able to do damage. And yes, I know I was damaging myself, but he, only, he barely had any life. So it was so easy to just turn and kill him. Uh, I can take like a step over here and then I would take an attack of opportunity. That's fine. We'll just poke. And then, I mean, it's got 34 life. Then we take a step. There we go. 13 damage. <laughs> Shield blow. Oh, no. She lost her spirit card. Of that. How unfortunate. That's, that sucks. Sludgy sling. All right. Uh, he can pop off on the water. Kill that off. End his turn. Carla, come hit him. Oh, that sucks. Attack again. And... Do this. All right, it's almost dead. Nothing important is ever easy. My paladin can run over, make some attacks, make an executioner, and kill. Leroican, you who would see me cage. Oh, I love this. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked make us. Every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its oh, beauty. Jeez, she just baned him. Broke Batman's back. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Cool. We'll talk to her in a moment. Let's loot everything. Ooh, we got some we got some clothes and a staff for good old Gail. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, what did that what did that do? Hold on, I gotta find that. Have advantage on saving throws against spells, gets mirror image, and then despair of Anska Catla, whatever. Uh gain plus one bonus spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Plus two weapon day. Oh man, that's pretty good. All right, let's loot everybody else. I, f I feel bad for that little guy. He didn't deserve to die, you know? He did not deserve to die. He was just, you know, a Ponzi. I'm sure there's more stuff here. Let's talk to her. The firehead fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... Sadness. Why? What kind of sadness is it? Or perhaps smiting has lost its pleasures. Nah, never. Oath of Vengeance. One of the greatest strategies of revenge is that it can only be taken once. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'd love that. Perhaps. Yet if I could run him through a thousand times, I wonder. A battle has tired my mind. Made me susceptible to flights of fancy. You were excellent in battle. Thank you. As is your way. Game respects game. And I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Ah, uh, I love that. That was amazing. That was exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Look, there's a book thrown. Did, did anybody else hear the Game of Thrones theme in their head when I when I looked at that? I did. I certainly did. Anybody in the rest of the tower going to be a little angry at me? Maybe? Maybe just a little bit? What's going to happen if I walked into that? <laughs> Quick save. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, good. Right. I'm not an immortal god. Gotcha. Uh, there's a cabinet. I'm sure there's stuff up here. Wizards of Note, Lorecon, Editor's Edition. Yeah, I bet. Ooh, there's a lot of <sighs> here. She, she reminds me a lot of Celestine, which is a character from Warhammer 40k. It is uh, the living saint. You know, there's some irony there because the saint is someone who had to have died, but the living saint 
in 40k is uh, one of the sisters of battle who I, I so, so I just got done reading this book like a couple weeks ago but she essentially without doing any major spoilers here uh, goes to the emperor and makes a deal with the emperor and says hey I will never stop trying to defeat chaos and I will never end my crusade against chaos until it is defeated as long as you help me with that. So he, you know, he basically says, yeah, I was super paraphrasing everything that happens to Celestine and her whole thing is he resurrects her every time she goes down. So she comes and does like magical things and then, uh, gets resurrected when she falls and it's, it's crazy. It's basically day Malin. Uh, I have responded out of respect to my counselor, Balthazar, who advises me that you may prove a loyal ally in the coming fight. Bam. We just, we just eliminated a threat without even knowing. I understand you wish to know about the soul cage, which binds the night song to me. Details. I cannot and will not provide, but the magic itself is necromantic in nature. Designed by my aforementioned, uh, counselor. I hope your curiosity is satisfied. General Kethrick. Hmm. Nice. Got that done with. Ah, oh, it felt kind of cool. That was very satisfying. 